Yes, so we're back with another Bleach Rebirth of Souls trailer reaction. And today we're seeing the boy Konami's Tozen, man. I'm very excited to see what he's gonna do. We've talked about him in a previous video. You know, since we've seen the stuff with Ukiyorda and also Ichigo having reawakenings, we saw that Tozen had quite a few transformations. He even had a haltification form, and he also, you know, he has his Bankai. So I'm very curious if we're gonna be seeing an awakening and a reawakening. Maybe his awakening will be his Bankai, and then his reawakening can be his haltification form. But I'm very curious how they're gonna do this because, you know, his Bankai is kind of, you know, a little bit like a trap technique that basically erases all your senses. So I'm excited to see how this is going to be, but man, today's anime question is going to be, if you were put into the world of Bleach, which Zanpakuto would you like, man? Let me know in the comments, man. Which one would you like? But to say thank you Ben Sir, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things. And if you want to see more anime game content, make sure to join the Discord pinned in the description. But let's go ahead and, you know, we're going to check out this trailer, bro. We're going to check it out. As you know, we how we do this, man. We watch it first, and then we break things down and slow it down. All right, bro. What we got, man? What we got, man? Maybe awakening and reawakening. Thirteen core guard squads. Okay. Susumi. Oh, what is he looking like? Who despised the world has taken hands. That was a quick description. Justice incarnate. Okay. Ooh. What was that? Like a flash step? Oh, it's a counter. Okay. Ooh. What was that? He's in like an after image. Oh, he has a lot of a lot of quick counter moves. So they show two. They show three moves. We're only gonna see an awakening. They're not showing us a reawakening. Okay. How does this work? Oh, that's very cool. Oh, that's fire. So it does trap you. Are we seeing a reawakening? No. Character's eyes by hit and run action. Yeah, I can very much see that. All right, let's break it down. All right, man, so we break this down, bro. This is actually cracked, but it seems like Tozen mainly focuses around counter attacks and being able to get in and out. He's a high counter character, so you're gonna need good timing to actually use this character. But the basic thing they talk about the captain of Squad 9 who despises the world and has chosen to take justice to his own hands. His lack of eyesight has led him to develop a unique form of vision and counter attacking. So I'm gonna look at the first thing, the signature move, Transcendence, a counter technique in which Tozen goes behind the opponent and unleashes a slash. This ability can also nullify long range attacks. The fact that this nullifies long range attacks makes this extremely overpowered and the fact that you're going to be able to just teleport and then get behind them then you're going to be able to just start a combo. This is pretty crazy but this is like seems like a very easy to move counter move depending on how long the activation is going to be for you to actually be able to follow up. The next move is going to be the Suzu Suzumushi Nishiki Benihiko. An attack in which Tozen jumps backwards and releases numerous needle-like blades. Toza can evade and attack if timed correctly. And that's pretty much what a lot of his moves, you can evade and attack if you time this well. And it looks like it's pretty cool. Like he jumps back and then he hits you with a move. Now the range isn't just the highest, but like I said, it seems like you're gonna need to get close. Maybe you can also even pair your spiritual, you can actually probably use the signature action to get close. And then maybe even activate this depending on, you know, how much the actual, you know, meter that you actually have. But this is a pretty interesting move. And then the spiritual pressure move two is going to be the Sayabane. A Rush and slash attack. When executed correctly, Tozen will fly backwards while releasing Benihiko, transforming the attack into an offensive and defensive mood. So this is another one. All of his moves have an offensive and defensive capability. And I didn't mention we also have ourselves a new stage. I meant to say that in the beginning, but it looks like this is a new stage. Another area that we can actually see in the Soul Society. But this is also looking like another interesting move where you know you dash in and then you follow up with a strike. Either way, whether the dash works or whether it doesn't work. And then we got the awakening, which is by Racing Bankai Suzumushi Suishiki Inama Kagori. Tozen's opponent screen becomes dark outside a certain area, giving Tozen a massive advantage. The opponent's vision will widen as time passes, but it's possible to take it away again by using Kiko moves. So this is pretty crazy with the fact that it basically, you can see in the video that you can't see and you see Tozen slowly coming in, slashing you, and then going out. And it says here that you can actually make this a little bit infinite. If you're continually knocking down the Reishi bar and using your Kiko moves to destroy the Kompaku, you're going to put them back into this state where they're not able to see. It is a Good thing that they made it where actually your, your vision is going to actually widen as time goes on. It makes it where this isn't too overpowered. I kind of wonder how long it's actually going to take before things start, you know, widening out. And if at some point, if you're not really getting damage, if you're going to be able to get your full vision back, or if it's only just going to be a certain area of a circle. But this is pretty crazy, and I'm glad that they didn't like reduce his ability from what it is. They still made it where, you know, it's still Tozen. And they didn't give him a reawakening, which makes me believe that we are going to be getting a second version 
version of Tozen that is going to actually have a reawakening that allows him to go into his holification form. Let me know what y'all actually think about that in the comments, but I'm pretty sure because I highly doubt they don't do the version where he can actually go into his holification form. And then we look at the last little description that they say basically characterized by hit and run actions that throws off the enemy as well as a bunkai that takes away the opponent's vision. So let's go ahead and look back at this video again, man, and break things down, man. So let's see this, man. I'm excited. I'm very happy that they didn't reduce what he can do. It's kind of crazy that they found a way to implement actually taking away your senses. I'm, I'm hyped. Like, this is crazy. Man. I might not know how to use them, but I'm definitely going to play with them because that is just wild. All right, let's see. Let's see. We've got a nice little shot, man, and we can see, you know, the map. This is the newer map. So far, we've seen them, like, fighting by the gate, you know, by the gate that they uh, that protects the Serate, and also in the little field, whenever Gein was fighting Hitsugaya, and now this is a different area as well. So you see the basic auto, and then we can see right here, this is the counter, he goes behind him, boom. And then you can see again, boom, he pops it again, boom, hits him right behind, which is pretty good. And this one you see right here, he's just going to jump back and just hit you with a strike, which isn't too bad, you know. And it seems like it doesn't activate too slowly. And then we have this one, he's going to dash forward, boom, you see he's actually able to evade, chat, strike, and then he comes with that. So this is basically a dash with the combination of the previous move. And then we see the same little animation right here. I like how they actually have Chad like punch you instead of slashing you whenever he actually activates his. And this is pretty cool. This is probably going to be the thumbnail. Throws that right there. That's probably the thumbnail, more than likely. Then we get to see the Bankai activate. This is pretty crazy. Overtorn the tide of the battle. And then we can see a little bit of his Bankai gameplay. I oh no, yeah, 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 that, yeah. So we can see here, we see him come in, boom. This is pretty cool. And then we actually see him actually activate one of his spiritual pressure moves. And then we can get a little bit of a shot of the cinematic, which you can't really tell. It seems like, yeah, he's coming in as a slash. Seems like that's what most of these are, you know, them coming in as a slash to finish things off. And then we got the nice little ending cinematic, man. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. So when I went to the website to try to check to see if they had Tozen's description, it wasn't there yet. So y'all might get that later on this week where I actually go to the website and break down that stuff in a quick little video and stuff like that. Seems like maybe it takes some time for them to update the actual website. But let me know what you thought about Tozen. I wasn't expecting them to give them us his reveal next. Maybe we might get Aizen now since we've done Gein, we got Tozen. Or there's also a chance that, you know, we might get another captain, but... Let me know how y'all are actually feeling, man. I'm, I'm hyped. This character looks pretty good, and he's now on my list for the characters that I'm watching and I'm looking forward to play with. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things, and make sure to let me know in the comments if you're in the world of Bleach, which Zanpakuto would you actually like to have, man? But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one. We out.